Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. Today, well, if you've got a Eufy Homebase 2, you need to continue watching this video because I've got three security issues that have just been found. So let's check them out. So what is the Eufy Homebase 2? Well, basically it is Eufy's hub for it's smart cameras and doorbells, you know, it acts as the storage, uh, you know, your local storage if you're not going to use their cloud services. And, um, you know, it allows all kind of like the communication between your devices, you, uh, when you're away from your home, uh, you know, it, it links up to the Eufy servers in the cloud and allows you to be able to see the footage on your, um, you know, your home base too. So quite an important piece of kit within the Eufy ecosystem and any vulnerabilities found on that uh, really should be taken care of pretty quickly, I would say, um, you know, given some of the things that people could potentially do with that. So what I'm going to go through now are the three vulnerabilities that have recently been found. And, um, you know, at the end, towards the end of the video, I'll tell you what you need to do in order to, uh, you know, protect yourself from that. So I'm going to start off with the first one. Um, so these have all been scored. So based upon the different attributes of the uh, the attack, what is available to, uh, you know, how the attacker needs to set it up and things like that. These are given at what's known as a CVSS score. And the first one has been given a 7.1 score. So it just puts it into the high category. Uh, anything below seven is, is basically medium. So um, yeah, just slightly worse than a medium, but you know, still not great, is it? Um, so basically what this one is, um, you know, as I say, your um, home base effectively you know is like a little mini router in there for everything to connect to it and what this one allows is an attacker to um, basically alter the DHCP uh, information with inside the home base and um, you know put in kind of like false IP addresses as it were so every device has IP addresses uh, that connects to it um, the the result of this really is that you know the attacker could put in an IP address of you know, some random server somewhere that is under their control and allows them to be able to spy on the owner of the uh, the devices connected to the home base too and be able to see the footage uh, that is, um, you know, being recorded on there, you know, or even on the cameras or whatever. So quite an important one, that one, I think, given that, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, something, you know, quite recently, um, not just you for, you know, other cameras and things like that, you know, lots of vulnerabilities found in smart devices, smart cameras that allow people to be able to view remote footage and things like that. So next one on the list and quite an odd one really, probably not something you would immediately think of, you know, somebody doing something to a home base too. You know, after all, they are just, you know, a little bit of a box that sits uh, somewhere out the way, really, you know, just kind of like storing your footage. Um, but basically, this has been given a score of 7.4. Uh, in, in terms of severity. So again, another high vulnerability, but um, you know, not a critical one yet. What this one is, it allows the attacker to send basically specially crafted network packets to the home base two, and uh, well, basically do a, den a denial of service attack on your home base. So, you know, they, they can put it into a constant reboot state if they want effectively making your entire Eufy network and devices uh, that rely on that home base connection uh, redundant. Um, quite, quite an ingenious thing to, uh, to do. I'm sure uh, you know, the, the attackers would find it immensely funny to have a load of Eufy home bases uh, you know, rebooting like that and preventing people from storing their footage, but um, ultimately very, very annoying for an end user if that is something that happened to you. So again, um, you know, not much you're going to be able to do with that other than what uh, I'll tell you about after the next vulnerability. And the final vulnerability, well, this has been given a CVSS score of 10, which is the maximum they give and therefore has been classed as a critical vulnerability. Uh, well, you know, basically, again, it is a, uh, you know, the attacker sending a specially crafted network packet through to the home base. Uh, not a huge amount of detail about this one, probably given 
the uh, the severity of it, but basically the the you know the fundamentals are it affects things like configuration, pairing, uh, you know probably connectivity in there as well. So you know potential to cause a high level of impact to your your UFI ecosystem. I guess you know if you've got more than one device set up there. Um, the good news, you know, with all of these vulnerabilities, you know, even though they have been found, they were reported to uh, UFI prior to being made public because, you know, all these vulnerabilities ultimately get made public uh, so that manufacturers are, are aware of it. UFI have um, now gone and patched this. So um, if you're, uh, you know, if you've been using your home base too for, for a while now, uh, you know, it should have automatically updated unless somehow you've got your system set up not to receive updates or something like that. Um, but basically, you know, the the you need to be on at least version 3.1.8.7 um, or 7H, you know, is a, is a slightly later version. Um, you know, I'm on something a little bit newer than that by the looks of things, so I've had a, an update since then as well. Um, where this really will affect you is if you've just gone and bought a home base two, you know, maybe you've gone and bought a, a doorbell and you've got the home base two, you know, you've bought this recently, probably within the last few weeks, something like that. Um, you know, you may not have received those updates yet, so uh, you need to be aware of this. Uh, you know, maybe see if you're, um, you know, check for updates on the app and see whether it will pull down the latest versions of the firmware for you. Um, so, you know, and, and if you've, you know, you have had it for a while and you're not on those versions, then obviously, as I say, you know, go into the app and, and click on the check for, uh, you know, for, for updates for, uh, for the firmware. So there you go, guys. Those are the three vulnerabilities that have recently been found on the Eufy Homebase 2. Uh, hopefully yours has been updated and you're on the latest version. But, you know, love to know your thoughts down below. Uh, you know, these things go on all the time. Uh, you know, different manufacturers have different vulnerabilities that get found. It is really just kind of like the severity of them that uh, can be a little bit worrying. But uh, love to know your thoughts down below. If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.